What if I told you there's a way to power your car that's cleaner than traditional fossil fuel, yet not an EV? Meet e-fuels, a potential game-changer in the race towards sustainable transportation. E-fuel, or synthetic fuel, is a type of liquid fuel made by combining green hydrogen and carbon dioxide. Unlike fossil fuel which are derived from crude oil, e-fuels are man-made and are designed to work seamlessly in your current car without any major modifications. So how is e-fuel made? Step 1 is electrolysis. Renewable electricity from sources like wind, solar, hydro are used to split water into hydrogen and oxygen. This produces green hydrogen. Next, we need carbon dioxide. This can be captured directly from the air through a process called direct air capture. Direct air capture involves machines that pull in and separate CO2 from air using specialized filters or chemical reactions. By recycling CO2 that is already present in the atmosphere, e-fuels offset the greenhouse gases emitted when they're burned. In the final step, the hydrogen and CO2 are combined in a chemical process called synthesis. This is typically done through the Fischer-Tropsch process. These processes convert hydrogen and CO2 into hydrocarbons which are then refined into various fuels like synthetic gasoline, diesel, or even jet fuel. The end product is nearly identical to conventional fuels, making it a drop-in replacement. While fossil fuels release CO2 that's been trapped underground for millions of years, e-fuels recycle CO2 from the atmosphere. This creates a closed-loop system that can significantly reduce overall carbon emissions. E-fuels have some big advantages. They're compatible with existing engines and fueling infrastructure, so you don't need to replace millions of vehicles or build new infrastructure. But there are hurdles, too. Right now, e-fuels are really expensive to produce, as the whole process is highly energy-intensive pushing up the overall cost. So, is there a future for e-fuels? Many experts see them as a complement to electric vehicles, there are many industries like aviation and shipping which are almost impossible to convert into fully electric. E-fuels could be a great way for these industries to reduce their carbon footprint.